हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द टॉप टेन रियल ई एफ ओ क्रैश साइट्स पार्ट टू इफ यू हैवन सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इट विल बी इन द टाइटल कार्ड यू कैन वॉच इट लेटर इन द लिस्ट ऑफ टॉप टेन वी आर इन द नंबर ऑफ फाइव एंड दिस इज हाइट सिक्स वन वन ई एफ ओ इंसिडेंट इन डेल निग्रोस्क ऑफ यू एस एस आर द इंडिपेंस ऑफ द टाउन नोटिस अ रेडिश बॉल जस्ट ओवर अ हिल कॉल्ड हाइट सिक्स वन वन एट अराउंड एट पी एम i witness has said that it was about the half of the size of the moon's disk and that it made no sound as it fell others described it as a hovering ball showing lights of varying intensity 3 days after the incident a group of ufologists climbed the hill they discovered a landing patch that looked like it had been chiseled by high temperatures and was about 2 to 2 in size Nearby rocks were covered with black film and remains of a burnt tree were found. Some of the rocks had a drop of silver metal which was later determined to be a mysterious type of lead which was never before found on earth. The Kicksburg UFO incident is the next sitting for another mysterious story. On the December 9th of 1965 at Pennsylvania, USA, screams of UFO filled the air. as a large fireball was seen by thousands eye witnesses in pittsburgh claimed something crashed in the woods a boy in the village said he saw an object fall and blue smoke coming from the trees he alerted the authorities a local fireman came to assist and reported an object in the shape of an acron as large as a volkswagen beetle with writing resembling of egyptian hieroglyphics in a band around the base While the US military claimed they have searched the woods completely and they found absolutely nothing locals suggest that they have completely surrounded the area and removed the spaceship from there Next in the list is Rendlesham Forest incident Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk is perhaps the most famous setting for a UFO event in Britain It gained a high profile because of its military witnesses because it was located between the twin base of RFA Bentwaters and Woodbridge around 3 am on December 26th of 1980 a strange craft was spotted by security patrol when the security men entered the forest they saw a strange lights moving there from the trees with a huge bright light some of them claimed to have seen a metallic object suspended in yellow mist hovering over a clearing in the trees with a pulsating blue and red circle of light above also one eyewitness claims to have seen triangular landing gear on the object leaving three impressions in the ground that were visible the next day the servicemen further suggest that the object seemed to move away from them as they approached and also they followed it out in a field some reports say that local farmyard animals had been behaving in a state of fear and panic too the men were allegedly threatened by the officials after the event and ordered to sign documents that owed silence days later further flashing and star like lights were seen across the field to the east almost in a line with the farmers it was been rumored that small beings with doomed heads left the craft Next in the list comes Roswell incident. In July 1947, local authorities in New Mexico revealed that the 509th bomb group had recovered a flying disc and debris near the small town of Roswell. Government claimed it was simply a weather balloon and the event was quickly forgotten. But it was in 1978 that the issue was revisited when ufologist Sad Ten T Fredman interviewed Major Jesse Marshall who was involved with the original incident believed that the military had a cover up on the recovery of an alien spacecraft additional witnesses and reports emerged over the following years they added significant new details including claims of large military operation decided to recover an alien spacecraft and aliens themselves at as many as 11 crash sites as well in 1989 former mortician glen dennis put forth a detailed personal account wherein he claimed that 
alien autopsies were carried out at the Roosevelt base. Coming next is Shag Harbor UFO incident. The incident's name may induce sniggers, but it certainly gave Canadian locals the butterflies at the time. On October 4th of 1967, something crashed into the waters on Nova Scotia's south shore. Multiple witnesses saw the bright light and whistling sound like that of a bomb. One key witness was Laurie Wickens, a local resident who was driving with four friends along Shack Harbor Highway at the time. He told he spotted a large object descending into the waters of the harbor with bright lights. A military operation to recover the aircraft failed to find any conclusive remains. Though conspiracy theories maintain and they find to have seen some divers emerging from the water with UFO debris. The last UFO site in the list is found to be slightly interesting because till date this spooky explosion occurred near a place called Chunguska in Russia on June 30th of 1908 famously known as Tunguska event. Locals observed a huge fireball that flashed and lit the skies followed by a shock wave that knocked off their feet and broke windows 400 miles away. The explosion registered on seismic stations across Eurasia and produced huge fluctuations in the atmospheric pressure. Neither craters nor meteoric debris have been discovered from this incident so far, leaving most scientists clueless. It is also said that this event was a 12 megaton explosion that occurred near the place also wiping out around 80 million trees and till date there are being researches that are conducted regarding this event to find out what exactly happened there so this my friends are the end of top 10 ufo crash sites hope you enjoyed cheers